The children. The ghost of the children who died on the Queen Mary during World War are perhaps the most tragic of all the ship's hauntings. These young souls were innocent victims of a brutal conflict, caught in the crossfire of a war they could not comprehend. Their ghosts still roam the ship's halls and cabins, their laughter coming through the air like a haunting melody, but there is something unsettling about their laughter, something that chills the blood of those who hear it. For the children's ghosts are not the playful, carefree spirits that they appear to be. They are angry, vengeful, and filled with a sense of injustice. Some say that the children's ghosts have the power to possess the living, using their innocent forms as vessels to exact their revenge on those they believe are responsible for their deaths. Others claim that the children's ghosts are trapped in a perpetual state of torment, reliving the horrors of their deaths over and over again. Visitors to the Queen Mary have reported hearing the sound of children crying in the night, their plaintive wails echoing through the ship's empty corridors. Some say that the children's ghosts have even been known to reach out and touch the living, leaving behind a cold, clammy sensation that lingers long after they are gone. Despite attempts to exorcise the ship, the ghosts of the children remain a presence on the Queen Mary. Some believe that the only way to put their restless spirits to rest is to uncover the truth about their deaths and give them the justice they deserve. But others fear that the children's ghosts will never find peace, that they will forever hunt the Queen Mary, a reminder of the horrors of war the toll it takes on the innocent. The children's laughter may still echo through the ship's halls, but it is a sound tinged with sadness and despair, a haunting reminder of lives cut tragically short. For those who dare to investigate the source of the children's haunting, they may find themselves in a race against time. The ghosts of the children are not content to simply haunt the ship. They are determined to bring their tormentors to justice no matter the cost. Many have reported being visited by the children's ghosts in their dreams, their voices calling out for help and justice. Some have even reported being physically attacked by the vengeful spirits, leaving behind bruises and scratches that cannot be explained by any rational means. The Queen Mary is a place where the past and present collide, where the horrors of war and tragedy are etched into the very fabric of the ship. The ghosts of the children are a reminder of the price of conflict and the toll it takes on innocent lives. For those who dare to step aboard the Queen Mary, they show at their own peril. The ghosts of the children are always watching, always waiting for someone to uncover the truth about their deaths and bring them the justice they deserve. The Queen Mary may be a ship full of ghosts, but it is also a place of mystery and wonder where the veil between the living and the dead is thin for those brave enough to explore its haunted halls. The reward may be a glimpse into the afterlife itself, but the cost may be far too high to bear. Oh. The, the engineer. They say that the Queen Mary's engine room is one of the most dangerous places on the ship, not just because of its mechanical hazards, but because of the vengeful ghost that resides within. The engineer was a hard-working man, dedicated to the upkeep of the ship's engines. But during a routine drill, something went terribly wrong as the watertight doors were closing. The engineer became trapped and was crushed to death, his body wedged between the heavy metal doors. Now, his ghost haunts the engine room, his spectral form illuminated by the eerie glow of the machinery, visitors to the engine room report hearing his ghostly footsteps echoing through the corridors and the sound of his tools clanging against the metal walls. But the engineer's ghost is not content to simply haunt the engine room. He seeks revenge on those who he feels were responsible for his untimely demise. Some say that he has caused machinery to malfunction, putting the ship and its passengers in danger. Others tell of feeling a cold breath on the back of their neck as if the engineer's ghost is whispering in their ear. Despite attempts to exorcise the ship, the engineer's ghost remains a presence on the Queen Mary. Some speculate that his ghostly form is forever trapped within the machinery he works so tirelessly to maintain, unable to rest until his death has been avenged. Beware the engineer's ghost for he is a force to be reckoned with. Only those with the courage to face him head on may have a chance of putting his vengeful spirit to rest. But to face the engineer's ghost head-on is to risk not only one's life, but one's sanity as well. Some who have ventured into the engine room at night have reported feeling an overwhelming sense of dread, as if the very air itself is thick with malice. Rumors abound about the engineer's ghost as some say that he can possess the living using their bodies as vessels to continue his quest for revenge. Others claim that he has the power to manipulate machinery from beyond the grave, causing it to come to life and wreak havoc on the ship. Despite the danger, 
There are those who are drawn to the Queen Mary specifically to experience the thrill of encountering the engineer's ghost. They come armed with ghost hunting equipment and a sense of adventure, eager to capture photographic evidence of the supernatural. But as the legend of the engineer's ghost continues to grow, some wonder if the ship itself is cursed. They say that the Queen Mary is a place where the veil between the living and the dead is thin, and that those who enter its haunted halls do so at their own peril. The engineer's ghost remains a fixture on the Queen Mary, a testament to the dangers that lurk within the ship's dark corners. For those who dare to face him, the reward may be a glimpse into the wall beyond, but the cost may be far too high to bear. Huh? The Lady in White As the Queen Mary sets sail on its maiden voyage, whispers of a cursed statum spread among the crew. No one dared to enter the room after dark, for fear of the Lady in White. The young woman had boarded the ship with her fiancé, eager to start a new life together. But as the days passed, her fiancé became increasingly possessive and jealous. One night, in a fit of rage, he strangled her to death and fled the ship. Since then, the Lady in White has haunted the Queen Mary, her ghostly form drifting through the halls and cabins. Guests and staff alike have seen her apparition, her eyes hollow and her dress stained with blood. Some say that she lingers in the first-class pool area, searching for her lost love. Despite attempts to exorcise the ship, the Lady in White remains a presence on the Queen Mary. Her mournful cries echo through the empty corridors, and those who dare to enter her cursed statum will never return the same. Be with the Lady in White, for her vengeful spirit will never rest until justice is served. Some say that the Lady in White has even been known to possess unsuspecting passengers, using their bodies as vessels to exact her revenge. Those who have been possessed by her tell of feeling an overwhelming sense of anger and despair, as if they were carrying the weight of her tragedy on their shoulders. Rumors persist that the ship's crew has made secret deals with the Lady in White, sacrificing small animals and leaving offerings in the hopes of appeasing her restless spirit. But some believe that the only way to put the Lady in White to rest is to uncover the truth about her murder and bring her killer to justice. Despite the danger and fear surrounding her, there are those who seek out the Lady in White, hoping to catch a glimpse of her ghostly form or even make contact with her spirit. But be warned, those who tempt fate may find themselves facing the same fate as the doomed young woman, trapped forever on the haunted Queen Mary. Ah.